Now, guys, we've all, unless you've been under a rock, known that glyphosate's been banned in lots of countries around Australia and in lots of councils and lots of uh, schools in Australia as well, and it's only a matter of time before it's completely banned across the board. Gary here is with a company called Slasher, and it's an acid-based or vinegar-based product. Am I, yeah, I'm close, speaking close. as a novice, but, <laughs> you know, it's a lot safer to use and it still knocks the weeds over. So, mate, yeah. if it's not that, what is it? Yeah, well, um, Slasher is made from a, um, it's an organic acid, yeah, which comes actually from safflower. So it actually comes out of um, Europe, out of the Ukraine. So it's actually gone up in price quite a bit in the last Bugger. few months. But anyway, yeah, it's, um, it's basically a desiccant, yeah. So there's a lot of different herbicides that, are, that strip the cuticle off the leaf and then the UV light and desiccation through just moisture loss. So, but this one works really quickly and rapidly. And it's um, because it's come from a plant base, it's very safe to use around pets and your family so yeah it's quite a good alternative to glyphosate in terms of you know controlling weeds very quickly it doesn't work as obviously as well as glyphosate because glyphosate's a systemic so glyphosate will work on a whole range of not just small weeds and grasses but woody woody weeds as well whereas slash is basically designed for those smaller uh, annual weeds that um, have a smaller root system yeah so it's 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 very effective around pathways and around garden edges and areas where you just want to knock over weeds quickly the big thing about Slasher is if you're a contractor and you went out and you slashed a few weeds around the place before you mowed the lawn, by the time you finish mowing the lawns, those weeds would well and truly look like they're on their way to die. Yeah. Where if you use glyphosate, it's 14 days yeah. before you might see anything visual. So uh, if you reapply it and reapply it, you'll, you'll eventually knock them down. That's but you, it's not that sort of bang, I'm knocking down a... Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's the thing, a lot of, a lot of the Jim's mowing guys are using it, tank mixing it with glyphosate to get that rapid kill so that the customer is saying, yeah, well, they've, they've gone out and used the herbicide, you can see it, you know, it's, it does it within hours, yeah. So, but yeah, as you say, Jace, in terms of, you know, controlling uh, those more difficult to control weeds, you've got to come back in, you know, a week later, two weeks later. So if, you, if you're using in that rotation of seeing your customers every two weeks or so, you'll control those harder to, to control weeds. For peace of mind and for your client's peace of mind, to tell them that you're not using glyphosate and you're using this, and it might mean one or two more applications over the course of, you know, a season, it's uh, well, well and truly worth justifying the, the little bit of time management to, yeah. to do the job just a different way. That's right. And you've also got the benefit of it actually controls moss and algae and lichens as well. So you've got a utility product there you can go in and... You know, clean up some of the footpaths and that, and where you've got moss and algae issues. So I don't have a problem with liking. No one likes me. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Gary. Thanks, Chase.